please welcome the San Atsan. Make some noise, everybody. Here he comes. That's him right there. Until he gets here, you can't stop. That's rude. Keep going. Here he Oh man, please give up for Dean. Please give up for Dean. I've been I've been living in Harlem for most of my life. You see a lot of interesting things in Harlem, right? I recently saw a woman with a bunch of tattoos of sneakers. And she later told me that she got a tattoo of every man she ever slept with's favorite sneaker. And I was like, yo, that's wild. <laughs> you had sex with a dude who wears sketchers. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm Muslim, we get treated like the sketches of people. I'm also, I'm also from Florida, but I'm not ready to open up about that part of my life just yet. Why are you an Eagles fan? Uh, I'm Eagles fan, but we can talk about that later. I'm, I'm up here doing work and stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm actually 50% Palestinian and another 50% Palestinian. I don't feel comfortable saying 100% yet. It's, it's, extre it's extremely hard being Palestinian in New York because you don't get to enjoy bodegas like other people do. Because I don't know why, but for some reason, every time I walk into a bodega, the employee who's there just leaves because he thinks I'm there to replace him for the night shift. <laughs> And you would think with like the whole Palestinian-Israeli conflict that the opposite wouldn't happen with Jewish people. No! No! Every time Jewish people see my nose, they get excited and yell my... <laughs> they, get, they get excited and yell Mazel Tov. And I say Salaamu Alaikum. <laughs> which means hello in bodega. <laughs> and, and they still offer me birthright trips. This is ridiculous. I think, I think Jewish people like me because I'm allergic to hummus. Hummus? A Palestinian who's allergic to hummus. A pal my dad told my seven-year-old uncle that I was allergic to it. And my seven-year-old uncle said, shoo mallow. <laughs> Which loosely translated in Arabic is my seven-year-old uncle saying, how are we going to get him out of the family? <laughs> I feel like my family doesn't love me because I'm allergic to it. Like one day I'm going to come home and they're going to replace me with a Syrian refugee. <laughs> you know, like when they switch moms on Fresh Prince, but they never addressed it. 